Popular Fox News commentator Alan Colmes passed away at the age of 66 on Thursday. The news of Colmes' death was reported by Sean Hannity in a pre-taped segment that aired just after 9 a.m. during America's newsroom. Hannity described Colmes as one of the nicest, kindest, and most generous people. The two men worked alongside one another for close to 20 years with both men joining Fox News back in 1996 with their show Hannity and Colmes, which ran for 13 years on the network. Colmes is survived by his wife, Dr. Jocelyn Elise Crowley, who is a professor at Rutgers University. Dr. Crowley released a statement on Thursday asking for privacy and revealing that her husband died after a brief illness. He was a great guy, brilliant, hysterical, and moral, read the statement. He was fiercely loyal, and the only thing he loved more than his work was his life with Jocelyn. He will be missed. Colmes was on that a few liberals who appeared on the top-rated cable news network, and many of his colleagues paid tribute to him on social media after learning of his passing. Mejan Gully was one of the first to comment, writing on Twitter, Heartbroken my friend Alan Colmes has died. He lit up the FNC halls with his kindness and humor incredibly positive force. Prayers for his family. So sad to hear of the death of Fox News colleague Alan Colmes. He and I agreed on little, but I liked him immensely. Good guy. R.I.P., wrote Brit Hume. What? At Alan Colmes passed away? Nah ooh 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 ooh. Very sad. He was a good guy. Always surprised people that way, said Ann Coulter. And in a more proper tribute, Bill Hemmer wrote, A wonderful man. I will miss your spirit, Alan. Colmes was born in New York City and attended Hofstra University, where he worked for the college radio station. That then turned into a career for Colmes, who after graduating in 1971 worked for a number of stations before getting his big break while appearing on WOBG. It was there that he hosted the morning radio program a position that managed to land him an even bigger job at WNBC in 1987, where his shows were syndicated across the country. That was short lives however, with the network deciding to shut down the radio station the following year, at which point Colmes created his own company with other radio hosts that they called Danet. Then, in 1996, Colmes got a call asking him to take his act in front of the camera when Roger Isles asked him to join a new cable news network that Rupert Murdoch was launching, Fox News. He stayed there for the next 20 years, and Fox News also distributed his radio program.